Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Tony Torrance here. We are going to tie a uh, pheasant tail nymph with the new Nymph Head Evolution by Flymen Fishing Company. This one is the Mayfly Clinger and Crawler in a size small. The tail on this fly, we're going to use some pheasant tail dyed brown. I'll get a few strands of that. And I will tie this in for a tail about a gap width. I don't like my tails too thick on these. Just, you know, half a dozen strands at the most. I'm just going to wrap up the shank. Trim off the excess. Now I need a little piece of um, small copper wire. This is from uh, Ultra Thread Company. Okay. Next I need a section of brown pheasant tail for the body. I will take these and uh, tie them in by the tips. I usually just trim the tips even, lay them in here, just to keep the body symmetry. I wrap over that all the way back to the bend. And that's usually puts us right about at the barb or just in front of it on this hook. Okay. So now I will take my pheasant tail fibers. Wrap them around. If you don't have pheasant tails in your box, I'm not saying you have to put this new evolution head on, just something to test out, but you should have pheasant tails in your box. This is a pretty standard pattern, it catches a lot of fish every year. Take my copper wire and counter wrap it up through the body. Making sure I really get that wire tied down when I put the tie-off point. Since you're counter ribbing, it always wants to move the thread back into the body. So now we're going to tie in some flashback in brown. It should be about the width of the gap of the hook. Let's see if I can get this in here once. Lay that in there and get it on top. Um, now we need some ice dub in peacock. We're going to dub this on fairly thin. We're going to lay a foundation for the thorax before we lay our rubber legs in. Airline has a new product. You know, if you're familiar with the Grizzly Flutter legs, now they have a micro, so we can get these legs on our smaller nymphs. Okay, I've got some ice dub there. I'm going to start right up near the head. Get a little material laid in there just to get that head to hold still. And then I'll figure out the size of my thorax based on that. Using that dubbing to kind of wedge that head into position. Get a little more dubbing at the base of the wing case. Now I'm going to put my legs right in this little groove I've created. I'm using a, a root beer micro grizzly leg from Hairline. Pull those and get them into position. All well, it takes a wrap or two to set those and then what we'll do is we'll lay our dubbing over the top to finish off securing them. So my legs are set. I'm just going to give them a little trim just to keep them out of the way. A little more ice stub. That's probably enough, so I'll just take this last little bit, pop it off. Slide this in behind the head for a couple wraps. Remove the rest of my dubbing. Pull my wing case over. Okay, my wing case is set. 
One more wrap just to get her really tight in there, and then I'm going to trim this as close as I can. Okay. Now we're going to put a little whip finish on here, and then finish this off with a little uh, clear cure, clear cure goo. I'm in trouble saying that word. Um, for the wing case, but first what I want to do is take a little flat pair of pliers and smash this thorax a little bit just to keep the symmetry between the head and the thorax. The smooth pliers. Now we'll put a little CCG on there. Do not let that soak in very much. We want it to set on top of the material. We'll hit it with the light. Now we're going to apply some hydro. Just to take the tack away. Again, we'll hit that with the light for five to ten seconds. And you have a finished pheasant tail nymph with some really new cool materials.